Hi kindergartners, this is Miss Moses and I am here for our Wednesday math lesson. So by the end of our lesson today, students will be able to solve addition and subtraction story problems. So when we're done, you'll be able to solve addition and subtra subtraction story problems. So let's remember our two symbols we use. We use the plus sign when we're adding and we use the minus sign when we're subtracting. So we're going to have to think really carefully today because we're going to be reading some story problems and then you're going to have to think, is this problem asking me to add with the plus sign or is it asking me to subtract with the minus sign? So let's get started. So I'm going to show you first how to solve some story problems and then we'll do some together and then there'll be some for you to do by yourself. So here's the I do. So first I'm going to read my story problem and then I'm going to think, what is it asking me? Is it asking me to add with the plus or is it asking me to subtract with the minus? Let me read and think. This says, Alex has four cars. Charlie has six cars. How many cars do they have all together? Hmm. So if I'm thinking in my head, I'm visualizing that Alex has some cars and Charlie has some cars. And we want to know how many there are all together. So that's putting those two groups together. That means that we're adding because I'm taking Alex's four cars and Charlie's six cars and adding them together. So I'm going to be using the plus sign. So Alex has four cars, Charlie has six cars, and it's asking me how many are there all together. So now I need to write a number sentence to solve this problem. So Alex has four cars, so I'll write a four. And then I know that I'm adding, adding, Charlie's cars, so I'm going to do a plus sign. Plus, plus how many cars does Charlie have? He has six, so then I'll write a six. Four plus six equals what? What is four plus six? So I'm going to now have to draw circles to solve my number sentence. So I read my story problem, I pulled out my numbers, and now I'm going to draw circles to solve. So first, I'll draw four circles to show Alex's four cars. One, two, three, four. Then I'll draw six circles to show Charlie's six cars. One, two, three, four, five, six. So Alex has four cars, Charlie has six cars. How many do they have all together? I will cross off to count how many they have all together. One, two, three, four four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four plus six equals ten. So then if I wanted to ask myself that question again, how many cars do they have all together? They have ten cars all together. I will do another story problem. And I'm going to first be thinking, is this asking me to add? Or is it asking me to subtract? Leah sees six birds. Four birds fly away. How many birds does she see now? So Leah sees six birds. So she sees six birds in the tree. And then four of them fly away. That means they're going away. How many birds does she see now? That sounds like I'm going to be subtracting because some birds are going away. So Leah sees six birds to start and then four birds fly away. And so now I want to know how many birds does she see now? So I'm going to use the minus sign to show that I'm subtracting. So I'm starting with Leah's six birds minus, because they're going away, Minus how many go away? Four go away. And then what does that equal? What is six minus four equal? I will draw circles to solve. 
When I subtract, I first draw circles for the first number in my number sentence, which is six. So I'll draw six circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I'm going to do minus four. I'll cross off four to show the four birds that are flying away. One, two, three, four. How many circles are left? How many birds does Leah still see? Well, there's two circles left, so I'll write a two. Six minus four equals two. That makes sense. Six minus four equals two. So if I ask myself the question again, how many birds does she see now? Leah sees two birds now. Okay, kindergartners, now we're going to do the we do. We're going to solve some addition and subtraction story problems together now. Okay, so go get a piece of paper and a pencil so that you can follow along with me. Okay, ready? So first, I'm going to read you the story problem and I want you to think, I want you to visualize what is the story problem asking us? Is it asking us to be adding with the plus sign or is it asking us to minus subtract? Kelson has eight cookies. Ooh, lucky him. He eats two cookies. How many cookies does Kelson have now? Is he getting more cookies or are some of them going away? Yeah, some of them are going away. When we eat something, it's disappearing. It's going into our bellies. So two of his cookies are going away. So if things are going away, are we adding or are we subtracting? We're subtracting. So we'll have to use the minus sign. Age cookies to start. And then how many cookies does he eat? He eats two cookies. And then we want to know how many cookies does Kelson have now? So we'll write our subtraction number sentence and you can write yours on your paper. So write eight and then do we do plus or minus? Yeah, minus and then eight minus what number? Two and then that equals what? So you need to solve eight minus two equals blank. Can you draw eight circles and then cross two of them off and you tell me what that equals. I'll wait for you to get started. Draw eight circles, cross two of them off. What does it equal? How many are left? Did you get it? Okay, I'll do it now. So you should have eight circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and then minus two, so you crossed off. Yeah, you crossed off two. One, two, what does it equal? How many were left? Six, yeah, six, did you get that? Good for you. So then we could answer the question, how many cookies does Kelson have now? Kelson has six cookies now. Next one. So first, I'm going to read it to you and I want you to think what is this asking me to do? Is it asking me to add with the plus sign or subtract with the minus sign? Listen, David has seven trains. Alexander gives him two trains. How many trains does David have now? Hmm. Well, if someone gives you something, are you getting more? Or are you getting less? Hmm. Yeah, you're getting more of it. And so if you're getting more, that means we're adding together. So we're going to add the trains that David has plus the trains that Alexander is giving to him. That's so kind of Alexander to give trains to David. Wow. Okay, so I'll underline it for you. David has seven trains and then Alexander gives him two trains. So we need to write our number sentence. So we'll start with the seven trains that David has, and then are you going to do plus or minus? Yeah, plus, plus because you're adding 
the two trains that Alexander is giving to David plus two. And then we want to know what does that equal? All right, I want you to solve by drawing circles. Seven plus two equals blank. So, and then two good, and then count them all together. I got it, write the number. I know the answer, do you know it? Okay, let's do it together. First, I'm gonna draw seven circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then plus two, draw two more. One, two, what does that equal? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven plus two equals nine. So then we could answer that question. How many trains does David have now? David has nine trains now. Okay, kindergartners, it's your turn now for the you do. And you can either solve the problems that I'm going to give to you now up on the screen, or you can do the paper that I'm going to post on Class Dojo, where you can either print it, or you could copy those problems down onto a piece of paper. Or you could just have your mom or your dad read them to you, and then you could just solve them on a piece of paper. Either way, whatever works for you. Okay, so ready to do this one. Jaylani has four dolls. Layla gives her three dolls. How many dolls does Jaylani have now? Hmm. Layla's giving her more dolls. So are we adding the dolls together or are we taking the dolls away? Hmm. You solve it. All right, let's do another one. Aaron has eight balloons. He gives five balloons to itself. How many balloons does Aaron have now? Hmm, Aaron has eight balloons. He gives five balloons to itself. How many balloons does Aaron have now? Hmm, so Aaron, let's look back at our objective. Did we meet our objective today? Yeah, we did. We solved addition and subtraction story problems. Hooray for you not getting tricked. Great job.